This right here is the Zhiyun Cinepure CX100 Lite. And I recently just picked it up, so let's go over an unboxing and my first impressions. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Wire Creatives. And today I wanna go over this little light here. Now, as I said in the beginning, this is the Zhiyun Cinepure CX100 light and I recently picked it up because I'm trying to create a little bit better lighting with these videos. I know in the past it's been a little bit dark so I picked this up recently to try to fix that problem. We're going to jump straight into the unboxing and as we do that I'm just going to read off a few quick little facts. Again this is made by Zhiyun and it is their Cine Pier CX100. Now this is advertised as a 100 watt output in a pocket sized LED video light. It offers a 4500 milliamp built-in battery that uses PD fast charging. As for the size, it does have an ultra silent fan with custom heat sinks. True to color, colors captured 2700 up to 6500 temperature range. And all of these are controlled with the dials on the side or the power button on the back of it. So there you go, a quick unboxing. I picked this light up recently and my specific purpose was to help better light my videos in my little corner of my studio. For me, I'm looking at this as someone who's still kind of new to lighting. As I've mentioned in other videos with my background in marketing and those roles, a lot of times when I would go out and take photos or videos, it would be with a lot of natural lighting or indoors enough where I wouldn't need a smaller lighting setup like this. And if I did need lights, they were pretty big ones. So my specific needs were for a small compact light, budget price, and that's how I came across this one. Now right off the bat, do I think this is a professional light that you would use in say going out to a shoot? Probably not. And I'll mention a few reasons why I say that. Now using this for the past few weeks as someone doing YouTube content in a specific little uh, studio, a uh, very small area, I think that this has worked very well. I mentioned that this is a budget light. MSRP is about $200 on Amazon. You can find this for about 160. And then if you can find a coupon to add to that, the lowest I've seen is 137. Now this is comparing to other lights in that range. I've seen people mention a few other lights that they say would compete in this market for this budget price. And they're from some very solid brands. They pack a lot better features, a lot better output and just around there a better light. But the thing is with those lights and most ones that people mention, you're gonna be paying a little bit more. Now that's gonna be from what I'm seeing around 250 and up. And as I said, I was looking for a budget light to kind of experiment with my lighting inside my little studio here. Now let's go into some pros for this. Now this little light, I think puts out a very good output for what you get. It is a very small compact size for that too. It does offer a fan in the back for when it starts overheating. Now for the battery, it's a 4,500 milliamp battery. And for most of my purposes, I'm using it for about a half hour to an hour, maybe a little bit more for my videos and content. I haven't had any issues with that, but saying that this is not hatchable compared to the other models where you can just swap the battery out if you need that. Another pro for this is that you do get a variable light output and also a variable in the temperature range. For light output example, Turn the light on. Hold the way up. Now we're gonna hit that 20% and then it's just gonna cut off. Now for the temperature, this is the coolest and we're just gonna go down to the warmest setting it can do. Something I did really appreciate is came with this little reflector here and it just kind of um, screws on there and snaps in place. And then also this little silicone dome to help kind of diffuse the light. So those were the pros and now for a few cons. The first one is gonna be the battery. Again, I haven't had issues with this because I don't shoot for long periods of time. I don't really take this outside my studio. I use it all inside the studio. But if you're bringing this anywhere and you needed to have this on for a longer period of time, It'd be nice to be able to swap that out, which is where you go to their upgraded model. This is on here permanently and you only have that. Again, I do like that there is a variable light, but now the thing that I have an issue with is when you get to that lower end and you go down to, I believe it's like 
that 20 to zero percent, it just jumps. It just straight shuts off for the temperature. I'm not really sure how accurate this is. And for something, if you needed on a super professional, if you're going out doing a shoot for a client, I would bring something that you know that is on point for the temperatures. And going back to the accessories that came with it, this is very nice, but I think if they gave a softbox, which you can buy separately, would work a lot better for a lot of these purposes. So my overall impressions as I wrap this up, I think it is a very good budget light. If you have that specific purpose in mind, I think it can be a very valuable tool for you. Someone just getting into lighting, or maybe you're just trying to elevate it a little bit more. Maybe you have a small studio like myself and you're just needing a little bit more light in your situations. I think that this could be a very valuable tool. On the professional end, doing some of the stuff that I've done in the past for clients and other businesses, I think that this is something that I probably would have passed and spent a little bit more to get a little bit more controlled features, then also a lot better light output. I think that this is something that, again, very specific purpose. Maybe you have that purpose and that's the one thing you need to do it. Great, I think it is a great option. But as a whole on the professional level, I don't think this is a light that I would be using. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on this light are. If you have any questions about that, let me know those too. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.